Now we're going to look at the chords and continue on now and look at the chords in the key of A major. And before we get started, let's just have a reference to our tuning again. I'll give you each note and just play it slowly. The sixth string, E. Your fifth string, A. The fourth string, D. Third string G, our second string B, and finally the first string E. Now remember as we play each of the chords, the Roman numeral system, put it in place right away. The A major, the one chord. B minor would be our two chord. We've already played this chord. It's a bar on the second fret, fifth string, and our A minor shape just sitting in beside it. B minor. We're going to use the same chord again, and we're going to move it up a whole step to C sharp minor. Exactly the same shape. Our four chord now would be D major. Our five chord, E major. Our six chord, F sharp minor. Again, we played this one before. It's simply the E minor moved and barred at the second fret, F sharp. And our odd chord, the diminished one, G sharp diminished. Now, the fingering for this, second finger, sixth string, fourth fret third finger, the fourth fret on the third string, and our first finger here on the third fret, second string. Just those three notes. And that would take us back to our one chord. Let me play those for you smoothly without speaking. Now we'll look at the four note chords. The four note chord simply means that we're adding on the next note uh, in the construction of the chord. Basic chords are constructed one, three, five, so the next logical number would be one, three, five, seven. So we're going to turn them all into either minor sevens, dominant sevens, or major sevens. And the order of these never changes in each key. So we're going to convert now the A major to A major seven. Now have a look, just one note is actually changed within the chord. I'll give you the fingering for that. First finger, first fret, third string, second finger, second fret on the fourth string, and the third finger, second fret on the second string. And we can play from our fifth string. That's a beautiful color on that one. A major seventh. The B minor, we simply take off our fourth finger as we've done before. B minor 7th. The next one, exactly the same, C sharp minor 7th, 4th finger taken off. Our D chord, we played this one before in the previous lesson, D major 7th, 1 finger, very, very easy. Just barring strings 1, 2 and 3 on the 2nd fret, 4th string open. That's our 4 chord. Our five chord, E seventh, we can simply play that by adding the fourth finger, third fret, on the second string. That's our tense dominant chord. Now we move on, F sharp minor. Again, just remove the fourth finger, and we've got F sharp minor seventh. And finally, 
very similar to the diminished we played a moment ago we're just going to add one more note G sharp minor 7 flat 5 second finger fourth fret on the sixth string third finger fourth fret on the fourth string fourth finger fourth fret on the third string and tuck our first finger back to the third fret on the second string this is our G sharp minor 7 flat 5 be careful not to play the open A string but your second finger your second finger will block that note out anyway so just the four notes and back to our A major 7th again let me play those for you smoothly one two three four five six and seven and home to the one now we're going to look at the scale that will accompany each of those chords in the key of A and we can add notes from it to colour up our chords and it's infinite what we can do with it. Let's look at the fingering for the scale first of all. Open A, first finger, second fret, fifth string, that's our B note, third finger, fourth fret, fifth string, that's our C sharp note. Open D, fourth string, first finger, second fret, fourth string, E, third finger, fourth fret, fourth string, F sharp, first finger, first fret on the third string, that's our G sharp, and back to A. Let's just recap on that. I'll do, sorry. Now we have a choice, we can play either the open B, or we can play the B on the 4th fret, 3rd string, so either or. Then we have our C sharp, 1st finger, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 2nd finger, 3rd fret, 2nd string, that's our D note, open E, 1st finger on the F sharp, 2nd fret, on the first string, fourth fret, first string, and finally A. Let's have a listen. And let's go backwards. Continue on down, 4th fret, 6th string, 2nd fret, 6th string, open, 6th string, and back to A major. To get familiar, notes can be added to any of the chords in the key of A. Experiment. Um, let's have a look at A major. We may be let in the open B string. It's a beautiful sound. Let's put our first finger on an F sharp note over here. Again. Here's our D major. See that fourth string? Again, it's really about experimenting. Here's another beautiful A chord for you. First finger, second fret, fourth string. 2nd finger, 2nd fret, 2nd string, and stretch up with your 4th finger here to catch that B note. So here's a few A chords for you. A, A7, 
so it's four, we've just moved the fourth finger to the third fret. We'll take it off. We'll play our B note within the chord, our major seventh. Lots of variations on this. This procedure can be done on every chord within the key. So you can come up with all sorts of colors. And again, the important points, get used to the scale, get used to the Roman numerals, experiment with chord progressions, make them up. One, six, two, five, one. Four, three, two, five, one. Four, three, two, five, one. Each chord will sound good with any of the other chords within the key. So as, again, it's really a matter of using your different techniques, such as hammers, pulls, different rhythm techniques. Later on, we'll look at different finger style techniques that we can embellish them as well. And just imagination. Mm -hmm.